Hello, everyone out there. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while. I know I haven't uh, haven't posted. I'm just checking in with everybody with all of the COVID, Omicron raging. I know in our district, uh, we might be going virtual here for a few days temporarily. They haven't let us know for sure. So with everything going bonkers again, I just wanted to check in with you guys uh, and see how you're doing, see what you need. What are your what are your technology needs that are that are popping up here uh, with all of this that's that's going on? I mean, we know there's a national uh, shortage of subs, but I'm going to show you uh, what I've been doing here lately. My latest uh, venture here, which is marking up music. There's actually a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm going to be doing this in the Fourscore app here uh, on this video. And if you have any questions about Fourscore, uh, put them down in the comments below. Uh, let me know. Uh, what are you using to mark up music? Are you using this? Or are you just still using traditional paper? Um, there's also a way to just use files if you don't want to mess with Fourscore. There's a markup feature within the, the file app that's native to the iOS. Okay, uh, but let's get here the iPad up. And this is where, this is Ruslan and Ludmilla here, where I was, uh, oh, sorry. There I am. All right. Um, hello. Circle? Should I be a circle tonight? Yeah, I'll be a circle. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Okay. All right. So here I am. And uh, this is where I was using this to mark up, you know, music. And it's great because as soon as you pull the pencil off, actually, let me click done here. All right. And then there it is. And then once I pick the pencil up, it just automatically, you know, uh, connects here for me to do whatever I want. And I'm going to put it on the uh, pen tool, which is right there. Yeah, right, and I can choose the size um, of the brush here. I can make this super wide if I need to. Of course, I don't need to do that. Um, oops, and then I can really just dial it in here if I want. Um, let's say, boom, six set, and then that's what's been working for me here. All right, and then I can just mark it up. It's just amazing. All right just like paper. What's great about this is the ability to erase. All right, you have this nice, thick, you know, black ink, um, but it's completely changeable, all right? And I can go through here, and I mean, the, the, the pencil and the iPad have gotten so much better. If you're like me, and you're really, really picky, and you really put technology through its paces, I can remember using this a year or two ago opening up, say, like Good Notes or opening up the file app. And let me show you what I mean by that, files. If I go in here to the Apple files, right, the square down there, then, uh, you know, I'll see where I have, do, 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 let me find my sheet music folder. Okay, sheet music on iCloud. Um, and then here's some different things, you know, that I've, like Jupyter parts um, that I marked up for students here. All right, and I can mark those up. I don't have as much, I mean, I do have some customization here as far as, you know, how thick I want to make this line. You know, there's some of that. Uh, you know, I can undo whatever, mark things up, okay, and then save. But I would notice as I would write on this thing that the gesture from my hand would swipe the screen and I would just lose just a ton of work, <laughs> which, of course, is not okay. Um, the iPads don't do that anymore. I mean, they're really great about just recognizing, you know, what they call the palm rejection, uh, rejecting your hand sitting on the screen. It's way better than it used to be. I mean, it really does feel like I'm using paper, the whole experience, not just the, the writing with the Apple Pencil here. Um, now, how do you get it to where you can print it off? Because obviously this iPad is a personal device. Of course, maybe you have a, a, a school iPad there that you're using. And you just go up here, click Done. Then I'm going to go up here to the Share menu there. Okay. 
I can do a plain PDF without any of my annotations. I can do all of my annotations. Oh, and if I hit these dots, I can even export just a specific page. I mean, this thing is super duper powerful. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click share. And of course, just like any menu, whenever I'm sharing things or sending something out, you know, from the device, um, what I've been doing here lately is putting it in my drive here. Okay. You know, selecting a folder, my drive. Okay. And then going in somewhere and, uh, you know, putting it here in the sheet music folder you know, where, wherever it needs to go, okay? Uh, just click out of that because I'm not saving this one. But anyway, it's just kind of a brief overview here um, on Fourscore, marking it up and sharing it. Because, uh, yeah, if, uh, <laughs> if we do end up virtual here, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is just like I'm showing you my screen here in Ecamm Live, one of the things I'm going to do is just have a class where we're going through and marking up parts and where I'm going to share my screen from Fourscore here in the parts and uh, just have the students, you know, write it in. You know, usually I would write these in and print it and just give it to them. Uh, but, you know, having a class where we were talking about the markings and having them mark them and they can ask questions about the markings uh, that would probably go a lot further to them actually using the markings. So, um, yeah, it's going to be one of my lesson plans if we do go virtual. What are you guys doing out there? Share some of your lesson plans. Let me know what questions you have here about Fourscore. Leave me a comment. And if you're interested in this app, uh, I'm learning it. I've been using I've been using it all year, actually, and it's been fantastic. Love it, like I said. And uh, maybe we'll do some more tutorials on this. All right. Everybody, stay safe. Good luck if you do go virtual. I know we thought we would never be back in this situation, but here we are. Hopefully it will be temporary, and uh, I'll see you soon.